Welcome back. Before we get started, let's take care of a little housekeeping. Got a little earworm for you. I am not Rick James and I am not a super freak and therefore I am also not your financial advisor. I do like it when my wife gets a little super freaky with me on our quality time, not to share TMI, uh, but uh, anyway, I'm going to keep on moving here. Uh, anyway, uh, so need to just have this conversation. Normally, we like to cover on Mondays, minor Monday only, but here's what's going on. The way drip was set up, we had a million circulating supply, right? And so it's set up that if, you know, we get for whatever reason, and there's a bunch of extenuating circumstances that a lot of good YouTubers out there are covering. I'll let you watch those videos. By the way, you need to um, <laughs> go and just kind of do your research and, and check out these different YouTubers that are out there. I'm not going to cover them all, but uh, you know that you can you can learn a lot from them and they do cover this uh, extensively, right? And also, if you like their content and you're invested in the various projects that they're covering, give them a like. It helps spread the word and helps strengthen your investment. So I'm not asking you to like mine. I don't have comments enabled on mine because I don't want the bots to get out there and scam you. Plus, I don't want to hear about all the FUD and fear and, and all the infighting and all the other drama that takes place on Discord. I don't have a Discord. I don't have a Twitter. I don't have anything else except my YouTube channel, right? And I'm not asking you for anything. Don't, don't need anything from you. Um, but again, hopefully this will help you with your journey, right? But what's been going on is that Drip was set up so that if it gets to, got to a point where the vault needed to, it would print additional uh, drip. And that's where we are right now. And again, the extenuating circumstances are is that the whole animal farm ecosystem and the, that, that really causes this flywheel effect, and I cover that in, you can uh, search for it, a video on the flywheel effect. It, it, it really, uh, one begets the other and, and it just causes this, this spiraling in a positive direction. And a big part of that is missing. And hopefully Forex will get this thing up and going this week, uh, just because you know I think it's it's more than overdue in time. I, I get that he's in a position that he doesn't have to worry about money, but there's a lot of people, including myself, that do, you know. And so um, I think Forex Shark, by the way, also is is for whatever reason, and I appreciate it, a guy who looks out for the little guy, you know, just based on how he set the piggy bank up and different things he's done and said. So I, I do appreciate that about him. But but anyway. The whole ecosystem, the animal farm, the dogs, the, you know, drip the USD pools and, and everything that's out there, it's meant to feed each other and cause uh, growth. And so because we don't have the dogs back up and, and going yet, there, there's, a, there's a whole extenuating circumstance where people are exiting. And, and again, I don't think this is long term. It can also be deflationary as well. It's elastic, right? And so, by the way, uh, Ray, I think on his Friday video, gave a price, his personal price prediction of $25 to $52 before, you know, end of the summer, end of year, maybe. And so I think it's about the 14 minute mark if you guys want to go check that out. But, uh, but anyway, um, I want to talk to you about something. Let, let's say, so this was at $25,000, I believe, on Friday when I checked it out, right? Let me just refresh this right in front of you. So we're at 144 this morning when I checked it, and we're still at, well, I'm sorry, 144, 1,044,000 up from 20, 1,025,000. So yeah, it, it's going up. It's not really impacting that badly the price of drip. We've been hanging out at about, uh, I believe, um, 25 bucks, I want to say. Let me just go up here and double check here. Or, I'm sorry, 20, 25 bucks, uh, 10 bucks, and it's a little bit lower now. It's back at nine. It was at 10 or 10.01 earlier this morning, but but again, I want to go over here and cover something with you. So let, let's go worst case scenario. Let's say that, that Forex Shark does not get the, uh, you know, the fully functioning animal farm up for another month. And this thing goes to $2 million, or two, not $2 million, but $2 million in circulating supply. Let's, uh, listen, here's what I tell my kids when they are growing up. And I work with, um, you know, special needs kids and, um, you know, kids in junior kindergarten at the local elementary school right now, all the school years here. And whenever they fall down and get a boo-boo or start freaking out about stuff, fall in the monkey bar, whatever that looks like, right? I pull them aside before they start freaking out and crying and, you know, and, and the waterworks start. And I said, look at me. I want you to repeat after me. You got to say it out loud. I am tough. I will be tough because I am tough. Listen, if this is your first foray, foray into crypto and you got in a drip and you got in when it was at, you know, in the hundreds, which I did also, right? I, I was, I bought in a lot at a at hundred bucks, right? hundred plus 80, 90 bucks. And anyway, I'm not freaking out about it, right? Because I am tough. I will be tough because I am tough. 
And I wanna encourage you to just hang in there, right? Because your dollar cost of averaging and things will be okay eventually in the long run, right? So just bear with me here. Let's keep things in perspective, right? It's not, not everything's gonna keep going down. It might get a little worse. I'm not gonna, you know, um, blow sunshine up your, uh, you know what, but, uh, but anyway, I want you to keep it in perspective, right? So million was the circulating supply. And I've been ta touting this as, you know, let's compare it to the other circulating supplies and market caps of other, um, you know, coins. So let's go over here. So we have drip right here. And this is the market cap of our market cap of this is a great site for you to put things in perspective. Let's compare it to, um, you know, uh, actually, yeah, let's see. Do Yeah, let's let's go over here. Let's 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 start out with Solana. Right. And a million circulating supply. If it's at a million we, drip would be if we had the circulating supply of Solana drip would be fourteen thousand nine hundred and sixty eight thousand, you know, per per token. Right. At a million. All right. And let's do this. Let's jump up to. Uh, let's jump up to BNB, right? That's a coin we're all familiar with. If it had the circulating supply of BNB, Drip would be worth fifty thousand dollars per token at a million, right? And then let's go up to the big boy, right? If if it had the same circulating supply with a million uh, of a million, right? And and the market cap of Bitcoin, it'd be worth five hundred ninety-eight thousand. Uh, you know, dollars per Drip token, right? So okay, let's let's do this. You're like, yeah, man, but you know, it's 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 going up. We're not there. So I say, okay, do you, I say to you, okay, let's, let's take a look at worst case scenario. Let me refresh here. Let's go 2 million. Let's say this thing, he doesn't get it up the animal fully functioning animal farm up for, you know, and let's keep it at, actually, let's go to a lower one. Let's go back down to Solana. Right. And he doesn't get this thing up for another two months. Right. And we, we pump up to a circulating supply of 2 million. Right. What would it be if we had that, right. If we had the same market cap, and this and two million circulating supply of drip tokens, we'd have the, the each token would still be worth seven million four hundred and fifty-three thousand dollars, right? Let's jump up to Bitcoin and see what that would be. We'd still be at 299, almost 300,000 per token if we had the market cap of, of uh, Bitcoin. And we have better utility in this whole ecosystem, the drip network ecosystem, we have much better utility. It's not fully functioning yet, but it will be. Okay, so so let's refresh again. All right, because again, it's the it's not Armageddon. The world isn't ending. You know, it's it's not a good you know economic outlook right now. But listen, dogs and cats are not sleeping together. We are not there yet. And and again, we have better utility. So I want to do this. Let's let's go over here and let's go back down to Solana again, right? And let's just add a zero. Let's say that it is Armageddon, and dogs and cats are sleeping together. All right, if we had this, you know, ten million circulating supply right which again bitcoin is 21 million 17 if you count all the missing or you know tokens that they can't access because of the lost seed words etc right but this is what the the with solana this is what uh the, the each token of drip would be with a 10 million circulating so, so supply and the same market cap of solana let's jump up to bitcoin here who has 21 million in uh, you know its circulating supply, and if we jumped up to ten million in circulating supply, drip would still be at fifty nine, almost sixty thousand dollars, right? Sixty thousand dollars. So again, I, I say this only to encourage you, not to berate you. I mean, it's okay. I, I get it. Sometimes, some mornings you wake up and you look at you know where where things are, and you're like, ugh, that punch in the gut. Just even when I clicked on the drip price here. <laughs> And I was going to show you that, hey, we're hanging in there at 10 bucks and it's down to nine again. You're just like, ah, it's OK, because your dollar cost averaging. Right. And that's the whole point of this. So. So anyway, again, just want to encourage you. I am tough. I will be tough because I am tough. Just like I tell my kids in my junior kindergartens, you can do this. Hang in there. Be strong. Nothing lasts forever. Right. Good or bad. Right. And you've survived 100 percent of every one of your worst days. And, and, and I have, too. Right. And I've had some really bad news on two fronts. Um, in, in the past week, some really bad news, some di really disheartening family news, and then really some something on a, the job front that I was really kind of looking forward to. Um, you know, I think I shared with you, I'm going for a job with a utility, and I found out that uh, it, it may not happen as quickly as I'd like. So I got to go back and slug along like a lot of you do just to kind of, you know, while this market is down until, you know, my compounding, I don't want to interrupt my compounding. I'm trying not to take out, which is why I'm going back to pick up some extra income here, you know, not, and not because I have to, if I needed to just drain, I would, but, uh, but anyway, um, 
so let's also I'm going to jump over and just kind of share with you what happened and I'll, I'll run through when I, you know, took my profits and my miners on Saturday after my Sabbath right. BUSD farmer I took out 214 bucks took up 204 bucks for um, uh, BNB farmer uh, baked beans I got 78 bucks uh, CZ's kitchen I got 16 bucks. Uh, my diamond team too, I got 29, almost 30 bucks. Grinch bucks, I got a dollar 31, right? And so all in all, you know, if you look at the BUSD totals, if I converted it all over, it did 544 bucks. And I actually, because I had to restock my different, well, I have uh, three different wallets and uh, I had to restock my BNB there. And so, um, you know, I ended up withdrawing to crypto.com 421 bucks. And you can see how this thing is just kind of, you know, steadily going up because I've been faithful in compounding. And the reason I'm also bringing this up, and I'll show you a little bit here also, right? I have some other miners too. I, I did, I'm not keeping track uh, of the um, uh, the BUSD crops yield farmer just because it's so low. I added 30 and 40 bucks in here. And so um, anyway, uh, just want to give you a heads up that I'll show you all of these where they are, right? And I'm not going to compound here. But here's why you need to keep compounding these, right? Because not everything is going to stay bad forever, right? I, I promise you, <laughs> it, it is not, right? You're by you compounding and doing the six to one and staying with this, you're growing all the different farmers here, right? Um, baked beans here. I'm going to be at almost eight billion here before the week's out uh, with with my baked beans, as I said in the title here. And while I'm I'm not depleting my potential max return because I'm doing it the right way. Let's say that this thing and, and crypto markets can change on a dime. Sentiment can change within a week, right? I mean, when 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 uh, drip hit its all-time high of 196, it was within 15 days. So this thing can go on a run before you know it. And what happens, let's say that BNB, because that's where I'm mostly mining and spending my money. I really like the Binance Smart Chain and BNB. But let's say that it goes back up to 400. Let's say it goes up to 600 or 800. What do you think is going to happen to all these miners? And all, what do you think is going to happen to all these people who have been doing nothing but draining when they want to try and, you know, build back up? It's going to take them forever while all of us who are being faithful and doing the right thing, I mean, we're going to benefit from that, right? We're growing our, our beans and, and uh, you know, with CZ's Kitchen, I don't know how long this is going to last, but they still got 439 BNB in there. My diamond team too, you know, I mean, it's, listen, I'm still generating yield from these things, right? I'm still, I haven't gotten all of my ROI out, but again, um, you know, I, I was up there at like seven grand, uh, you know, when, when I first, uh, after everything that, that was put in there. And so look where I'm down to now, you know, and again, I'm going to be ROIing soon. And I'm also taking out and covering my gas fees here. So listen, it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, you're doing the right thing by not freaking out and compounding and dollar cost averaging. So I want to encourage you just to keep your head up, keep doing the right thing. Don't freak out, do what you got to do to make sure that you can do the right thing. Right. And, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm not telling you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. So that's going to do it. I'm not going to keep you, keep you, you know, going on here. And again, um, I showed you most of my miners showed you Grinch bucks here. I did throw like 0 0.1, um, or something like that into, uh, uh, or actually it's 0 0.01 or something, it's 0 0.04, maybe it's 0 0.04 that I put into, you know, um, BNB miner as well. You know, and again, all these things light up. I have some in, uh, you know, uh, from a, before this thing shut down, but this thing is starting to pump again too. I've been nothing but compounding there. <clears throat> so anyway, that's going to do it. Uh, listen, keep it in perspective, keep it in perspective, right? This is if we had a 10 million circulating supply and had the same, uh, market cap of Bitcoin, what would what it would look like? So uh, again, that's going to do it. Be kind to each other. Be generous as if you're already made your fortune. You can do it now, even though you may not be able to give as much. You can still be as generous, right, with what you have, and that's going to do it. Have a great week. We'll talk to you on Friday. Don't freak out. Dogs and cats are not sleeping together. Peace. <laughs>